Hello and welcome to the Monday, March 27th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, we do have an update from Microsoft regarding the issues with uh, ineffectively cropping images in the Windows 11 snipping tool. There is an update available now in the Microsoft Store. There's also an update for the Windows 10 Snip and Sketch tool, which apparently is affected as well. Seen some reports on Twitter that there are other sort of random uh, image tools that appear to have been updated. Not clear if that's just accidental or if that's also related uh, to uh, this problem of cropping images. May as well update them, so visit the Microsoft Store and see if you have any updates available. And early on Friday, GitHub uh, did rotate its SSH keys. Apparently, the original SSH uh, key was compromised, or at least was available uh, publicly, so that's why they took the step. It only affected the RSA key. The elliptic curve keys are uh, still uh, good and have not been changed. But if you're using the RSA SH key, uh, then you may get a warning that uh, the key changed. So update it, update it properly. I'll link uh, to the uh, GitHub blog regarding this. Don't just accept a sort of a random keys that apparently have been updated. That's of course of another weakness of that entire SSH process that uh, developers often don't verify these SSH keys properly. Not a lot of more details from GitHub, so we don't really know how long these keys have been publicly accessible and what their confidence level is that they haven't been compromised. An attacker could essentially use these keys in order to play then machine the middle attacks against a GitHub. And we do have an interesting bug in the Redis uh, Python library. The problem here apparently is that if you're using the synchronous feature in the library, then uh, connections may not get terminated uh, correctly, which then results in connections essentially possibly getting mixed up between users. One uh, high profile victim of this particular uh, bug was chat GPT. And as a result, some connections from other users leaked, which basically meant that other users could see each other's uh, conversations with chat GPT. And also, well, like last week, a famous YouTube channel, uh, Linus Tech Tips, uh, was the latest victim in a series of account takeovers against uh, YouTube uh, creators. You may remember we actually wrote about uh, this particular uh, type of incident uh, back uh, mid-January. And we're kind of wondering about uh, why so many uh, accounts with... Uh, in part, uh, millions of followers uh, were being taken over uh, by these uh, crypto coin uh, scams. Looks like that same wave now hit uh, Linus uh, Tech Tips. Apparently, the entry point here was a phishing email that was then used in order to install malware and steal session tokens that were used to authenticate with uh, YouTube. If your organization does maintain a YouTube channel, uh, there are definitely uh, some lessons uh, to be learned here. Now, uh, Linus Tech Tips here did use two-factor authentication, but that's of course not really effective if you're uh, dealing uh, with uh, session token uh, theft. On the other hand, uh, there are some ways how you uh, can lock things a little bit down, in particular if you're using third-party tools to manage uh, your YouTube channels, uh, you should be careful how many privileges you are actually uh, transferring uh, to these tools because in that particular case that made sort of the instant response a bit more uh, difficult. And then updates, uh, well, actually nothing security related, uh, but an update for CyberChef. Uh, CyberChef released version 10 with some functionality improvements here, like a better uh, status bar, uh, but uh, no sort of big major features that uh, I was able uh, to identify. Well, and that's it for today. Uh, thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.